Good morning, welcome to DLD American Corner in the Philippines YouTube channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment, click that thumbs up button for me, please. So, we have an update about the border. Uh, there's some smuggled pictures out on YouTube about the interior and the living conditions of the children. So, stay tuned and watch that minors are still being held beyond the legal time period in similarly unfavorable conditions, sometimes without access to showers and sleeping on mats, etc. Now, just this morning, we saw photos from inside a United States Customs and Border Protection Overflow Facility in Donna, Texas, over the weekend, released by Texas Congressman Henry Coela. Uh, can you tell us exactly what Biden is doing differently? Yeah, well, first, I, you know, I, I want to address those photos, Joy. Th those are horrific photos. Those are the circumstances I think all of us uh, who follow this closely sort of knew that the children were in. Part of the problem is the Biden administration isn't letting us in to go see them for ourselves. And my message to the Biden administration is, look, you're saying you want to move to your question. You know, these are Border Patrol facilities, just like the Trump administration used during separations. That's not the facility I was in where they caged uh, children. Uh, that facility is closed for, for renovations, believe it or not, under a congressional appropriations bill. Uh, but this is the same type of a punitive jail-like facility operated by the Border Patrol agents who are, you know, there as law enforcement agents. They wear guns on their hip. You know, I mean, that's, that's what this is. Um, and so when it comes to the difference, the facilities themselves are the same types of facilities, and it's why it's problematic. We're not able to go in and show for ourselves um, what it is the Biden administration says they want to change. They say, Joy, they don't want to hold kids in facilities uh, like that anymore. They say they want to depart from, as I mentioned earlier, the 30 years of deterrence and punishment under Democrats and Republicans that, like that, allowed Donald Trump to separate children uh, from their parents in a way nobody had ever done before. But they are not able to shut those places down fast enough or, as I said, in the words of Secretary Mayorkas, make sure that there are no place for children. Here they are, stuck there now, because they don't have the capacity uh, at the Office of Refugee Resettlement, Health and Human Services, that cares for the children uh, as child welfare professionals uh, do uh, and should. That's not to say those facilities don't have problems, um, but it, you know, I think even advocates will tell you it's better than making kids languish in those, what are, what are border jails? Uh, Jacob, you know, journalists covering this story, as you mentioned, have been denied access to the facilities currently housing migrant children. This administration has cited health concerns related to COVID, but aren't there measures that could be taken to mitigate that while still allowing for transparency? And why do you think this administration is refusing to let reporters see the conditions in which these children are being held? I mean, it just seems that that violates the promise of transparency that Biden and tout it before he took office. I think it's a huge mistake, Sonny. Uh, it's a mistake because it will help their case explaining what they want to move away from, you know, sort of what the, the hand is that they have been dealt um, and how to get away from this style of treating asylum-seeking children and refugees as criminals uh, and not as uh, people who are coming here to, for, to, to, like I said, seek asylum uh, and seek refuge. It's very problematic in terms of COVID. I don't think it's a good excuse. I mean, I went inside, uh, you know, during the pandemic, uh, Men's Central Jail here, here in Los Angeles, the world's largest uh, jail system, um, as COVID was ravaging the city. Um, you wear a mask, you wear PPE. I mean, if senators can go in there with the Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, why can't journalists, uh, particularly, as some have pointed out on social media, uh, local journalists who are there um, on the ground know these communities to document what's happening, uh, to tell the story of where the Biden administration wants to go and how they want to be different from the Trump administration and other administrations before that. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment. Have a great day.